Jambo guys, welcome back to yet another exciting video. On this video, we will be exploring various national parks and game reserve in 13 days. Safari in Kenya, be my guest. For those who haven't yet subscribed to our channel, please feel free and hit the subscription button and click the bell icon to get notified once we upload new vids on our channel. Karibu and be my guest. Enjoy our vid. Our journey starts from Nairobi all the way to Mombasa Diani. We are driving through beautiful scenes along the way. Nairobi to Mombasa takes about 8 hours driving and about 45 minutes flying. By the new SGR train, it takes about 5 hours. While driving down the coast, you will pass through the two biggest national parks of Kenya, the Servo East and Servo West National Parks. Nairobi was founded in 1899 by the colonial authorities in British East Africa as a rail depot on the Uganda Railway. If you didn't know, the town quickly grew to replace Machakos as the capital of Kenya in 1907. After independence in 1963, Nairobi became the capital of the Republic of Kenya. We are on the Nairobi's southern bypass, a road in Kenya, forming a semicircle through the southwestern neighborhoods of the capital city of Nairobi. It is about 29.61 kilometers from northwest end, Gatero and southeast end, Nairobi Mombasa Road, at Lakoni Road. Onto our right side, we have the Nairobi National Park, the only park within a capital city in the world. Watch and follow our YouTube video about Nairobi National Park. We would love to read your comments about it. Nairobi is undergoing a major transport infrastructure over the past five years in order to support the high trade demand in the East African region. Major road projects that are currently underway as you can see along this Mombasa road.
close till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't want to waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, No, I don't want to waste what's left Welcome to Machakos, also called Masaku. It is a town in Kenya, 63 kilometers southeast of Nairobi. It is the capital of the Machakos County. The attractions here are, the Aveti Forest. It is the second highest peak in Machakos County. It features, scenic peaks, spectacular cedar trees, pine trees and abundant birdlife. You can visit the forest for birdwatching activities and hiking. Aldanyo Sabak National Park is also here. The park is dominated by a small mountain covered in montane forest. Buffaloes, over 45 bird species, leopards, bushpicks, olive baboons, aardvarks, porcupines, monitor lizards, and pythons are the main attractions at the park. A grave site, Macmillan Grave, is also located within the park. In this county, Here, we are at Amali. Amali is a fast-growing town, located along the Mombasa-Nairobi Highway, in Kenya's Makueni County. It is a popular resting place, for truck drivers, ferrying goods from the Mombasa port, to inland destinations such as Nairobi, Kampala, Kigali and even the Democratic Republic of the Congo. It is known as, the town that never sleeps, due to its vibrant nightlife. The town is inhabited, by the Kamba and Maasai tribes, here in Kenya. Makueni County, formerly Makueni District, is a county in the former eastern province of Kenya. Its capital and largest town is Woti. The county benefits from fruit and vegetable farming, thus you see youths selling along the road. This people are the Kamba, or a Kamba people are a Bantu ethnic group, or tribe, who predominantly live in this area of Kenya, stretching from Nairobi to Savo and north, to Embu, in the southern part of the former eastern province. This land is called Ukambani and constitutes Makueni County, Kichui County, and Machakos County. Along the Mombasa Road, we have two railway lines, the old and the new railway. The old railway was constructed by the Britons in 1897 to 1903, which is a narrow gauge railway line. The railway was designed to ensure that Britain had effective control over events in the region centered on Uganda. It was built for political and military, rather than commercial, reasons, and these factors had a major influence on the way that the railway was planned. Past this town of Amali, we proceed on to about 150 kilometers to Mtidu Ande. From Nairobi to Mombasa, it takes approximately 10 hours. There is a stopover at Mtidu Ande. Mtidu Ande, derived from the Kamba term Mutidu, Wa, Nde, which means forest of vultures, that came to life in 1800s. Here, on to our right, is Savo West National Park, and on the left is Savo East National Park. Savo East National Park is generally flat, with dry plains across, which the Golana River flows. Other features include the Yatta, Plot 2, the remnants of the world's longest flow of lava, over 300 kilometers in length, and rising over 100 meters from its neighboring lands. With origins at Aldanyo Sabak, near Nairobi, it can be seen from the left-hand side as you drive along here the Mombasa Highway, as a table-shaped stretch of hills. And Lugard Falls. Savo West National Park is more mountainous and wetter, with swamps, Lake Jipe and the Mzima Springs. Check our vids about Mzima Springs. This park is known for bird life and for its large mammals.
Here, our guide arrives at Mombasa, South Coast Diani. Meet with a colleague and head straight for pickup at the Papillon Lagoon Reef Hotel. Then they will pick the guests and head towards Savo East National Park, arriving and checking in at Aruba National Camp. Diani Beach is a major beach on the Indian Ocean, coast of Kenya, in eastern Africa. It is located 30 kilometers, or 19 miles, south of Mombasa, in Kuala County. It has been voted Africa's leading beach destination for the fifth time running since 2015. For many more of this kind of safaris contact Explorer Kenya on our link description below. After pickup, we will head for three and a half hours to Sabo East National Park and check in at Aruba National Lodge. For lunch with an afternoon 4 p.m. game drive. National Aruba Lodge has a perfect grassy savanna plain with a seasonal watering hole dam visited by gazelles, impalas, waterbucks, elephants, zebras, buffaloes and many more grazing peacefully in front of a sprawling lounge with wooden decks and a red tiled roof, this is the site that will welcome you when you arrive at the Ashnal Aruba Lodge. The common lounge that also includes a bar is furnished with comfortable wooden furniture and you can revel in the tranquil ambience of the lodge with equable drinks like cocktails, wines, soft drinks, beers and much more. Or you could take your drink out to the swimming pool and relax in the lounge chairs around it. National Aruba has a total of 52 rooms for guests vacationing in this expanse of southeastern Kenya, sited in 46 single-story cottages and six tents. Families can opt for the one of the eight interconnected rooms with king-size double beds or twin queen-size beds. Four of the rooms have triple beds and two of these are interlinked. Another two rooms are specially adapted for the comfort of physically challenged guests. The rooms have partitioned patios outside where you can relax in safari chairs and take in the splendor of the landscape outside. Mosquito nets hung from the ceiling can be drawn around you at night. The attached bathroom comes with a single basin, shower cubicle, with a frosted door along with the amenities typical of the mid-range accommodation. The best view rooms are close to the waterhole. Our first game drives here, at Sabo East we come across this giraffe. Most groups comprises of 1 to 10 animals, with a maximum of 35 and a mean of 3.8. Group size and composition varied, locally to some extent. Single adult males constituted the commonest group type. In groups of two or more animals, the sexes are usually mixed. Groups are loose and open. Close inter-individual bonds are only temporary and occurred mainly in young animals. Let's discuss about Savo East National Park, it is one of the oldest largest parks in Kenya at 13,747 square kilometers. 
Situated in a semi-arid area, previously known as the Teru Desert, it opened in April 1948 and is located near the town of Voi in the Taita Tibeta County of the former Coast Province. Here we come across the Hartebeest. The Hartebeest is a large fawn-colored antelope. Their most distinctive characteristics are a steeply sloping back, long legs, and elongated snout. Despite their ungainly appearance, they are as elegant, if not more than, other antelopes. They are one of the most recent and highly evolved ungulates and are far from clumsy. This are the Savo's red elephants. The red elephants of Savo are the only red elephants in the world. Actually, they are really the same color as every other elephant in the world, but they just appear red due to constantly dust bathing with the park's fine red volcanic soil. Over 10,000 of them inhabit the park, so the chances of seeing one are hopefully pretty high. Sabo East is about nine times the size of the Masai Mara National Reserve. Despite this vastness, it has very few camps and lodges and therefore is less visited than its popular neighbor. As a result it is perfect for the more adventurous safari goer who really wants to get away from the crowds as you often find yourself returning from a game drive without having seen a single other vehicle or living soul. Zebra, black rhino, geronix, Somali ostriches, cheetah and the famous red elephants are just some of the wildlife that you may see. This section of the park does have its own scenic highlights too, including the Yatta Plateau, which is one of the world's largest and longest lava flows about 300 kilometers long, and the Lugard Falls, which are actually a series of fast-flowing rapids along the Galana River. Savo is a region of Kenya located at the crossing of the Uganda Railway over the Savo River, close to where it meets the Arthi Galana and Sabaki River. The meaning of the word Savo is still unclear, but because of tribal conflicts, the Kamba people used to refer to the region as the place of slaughter. Savo East National Park provides undeveloped wilderness homes to vast numbers of animals. Famous are the Tsavo lions, a population whose adult males often lack manes entirely. In total there are about 675 lions in the Ambaseli Tsavo. Here, we retire back to National Aruba Lodge for rest, then to resume later for an evening game drive at 3.30 pm, where we will search for a pride of lions. African lions are the most social big cats and only once live together in a group or prides. A pride consists of about 15 lions. They spend between 16 and 20 hours each day resting and sleeping. They have few sweat glands so they wisely tend to conserve their energy by resting during the day and become more active at night when it is cooler. Lions have terrific night vision. They are six times more sensitive to light than humans. Here we get to this pride. This pride consists of one male lion, a dozen related females, and their young cubs. The size of the pride is determined by the availability of food and water. If resources are scarce, the pride becomes smaller. Pride members keep track of one another by roaring. Both males and females have a very powerful roar that can be heard up to 8 kilometers or 5 miles away. Males and females take on very different roles in the pride. Male lions spend their time guarding their territory and their cubs. They maintain the boundaries of their territory, which can be as large as 260 square kilometers, which is about 100 square miles, by roaring, marking it with urine, and chasing off intruders. Their thick manes, a unique trait to male lions, protect their necks when they fight with challengers. Female lions are the primary hunters of the group. 
they are smaller and more agile than males. But since their prey is still generally faster than them, they use teamwork to bring an animal down. Fanning out, they form a semicircle, with the smaller weaker lionesses herding the prey towards the center. Then the stronger females knock the animal down and make the kill. As we believe they did to the zebra kill they have here. Lions usually hunt at night. Their prey includes antelopes, buffaloes, zebras, young elephants, hippos, wild hogs, crocodiles and giraffes. But they also sometimes eat smaller prey like mice, birds, hares, lizards, and tortoises. They are not above stealing kills from other carnivores like hyenas, wild dogs, cheetahs, and leopards, or scavenging spoiled meat. After a successful hunt, all the lions in the pride share the meal. But there is a pecking order with the adult males taking first claim, followed by the lionesses, and finally, the cubs. Lions have a fast-working digestive system, which allows them to gorge themselves and then go for seconds shortly after. If available, they will drink water every day. But they can go four to five days without drinking by obtaining moisture from the stomach contents of their prey. Spending 16 to 20 hours of the day sleeping or resting, lions are the laziest of the big cats. They can be found lying on their backs with their feet up or taking a snooze up in a tree. While lazing around, they are very affectionate towards one another, rubbing heads, grooming, and purring. Lionesses give birth to two to three cubs at a time. Usually a couple females give birth around the same time. The cubs are then raised together, sometimes nursing communally. Lioness with cubs are vulnerable to predators like hyenas, leopards, and black back jackals. Cubs have a 60 to 70 percent mortality rate. They are sometimes trampled by large animals, like buffaloes. Furthermore, when another group of male lions takes over a pride, they kill all the cubs so they can sire their own with the lionesses. The African lions can grow up to 10 feet long, from head to tail. They are heavy animals weighing around 300 to 550 pounds. Males are heavier than females. Lion manes are big too. Only males have them. They can grow to around 8 inches long. Manes are believed to be a sign of dominance that helps in attracting females. Lions are a keystone species. They are important predators, the only wild animals in Africa big enough to bring down big herbivores like elephants and giraffes. Observation Hill at Amboseli National Park, this cone-shaped hill, is situated in the western portion of the park, and is the only high point of the Amboseli National Park, it is also the only place where you can get out of your vehicle and take a walk. A staircase carved from the volcanic rocks provides access to the summit where there is an observation point, both along the line of ascent and to the lookout, there are several panels where to deepen the knowledge on the hill, the surrounding marshes, and the park itself, with a focus on the animals inhabiting it. Protecting the ecosystem was the main reason Amboseli was declared a national park in 1974. For most of the year, Amboseli Lake is dry, but if it floods in the rainy season, it becomes very salty. Thankfully there is actually a lot of fresh water in the park too. 
underground streams, from then melting snow, on Kalimanjaro feed into the marshland, creating a haven for over 400 species of birds. Outside the park, most of the land in the area is owned by the Maasai people. Lodges such as the one we book our guests in, lease the land from the Maasai and help support the village. Our guests always learn a lot about this support during our visit to the Maasai village. I would certainly recommend doing this. The park is one of the best, top safari destinations to host a huge number of elephants, which can make your game drive safari more emotional. Game Drive in Amboseli National Park can be conducted in open plains, acacia woodland, marshland and dry areas, giving you a clear photography of species for your remembrance. Game Drive is best done especially in morning hours when the sun has just come out, as well as animals coming out of their hiding places to look for food, and in the late evening hours, which starts at 3 p.m. to 6.30 p.m., and to those who enjoy night Game Drive starts at 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. All sessions provide wonderful animal viewing, and during evening hours, sunset is just awesome experience. But travelers are recommended to always go with their driver guide. The heartbeat of the park is the Amboseli, a life-giving fear that draws wildlife to its grass. Elephants and buffalo wallow and feed in the marsh, and predators stalk the open plains. The landscape of Amboseli is made up of swamps, okay. grasslands, and acacia bushfields, but the heart of the park is certainly the swamps that attract animals in numbers during the dry season. Fed by rainfall and the snows of Kalimanjaro, the swamps draw herds of elephant, buffalo, giraffe zebras to the water and lush grass. The National Park is a small part of the Amboseli Conservation Area, most of which is Maasai land. With the approval of the Maasai communities in the area a number of operators have set up lodges in the traditional areas, and it is here where interaction with the Maasai culture can be experienced. Amboseli National Park can be visited throughout the year, but the most rewarding wildlife watching is in the dry season, from June to October, when animals gather around the marshes and other predictable water sources. When dry, animals crossing, the sandy plains tend to kick up a lot of dust, offering some great photo opportunities when the light is low. For bookings and reservations about this kind of safari itinerary, check our descriptions below, we will be more than willing to customize your Kenya safari. Here, we welcome you to Hell's Gate National Park. This is one of the few national parks in Kenya where you can walk and cycle freely. Because there are no elephants, lions or leopards, the park is safe to move through the park without a ranger, guide and car. Though we as Explorer Kenya Management, we always follow our clients every time we are in here just to make sure they are safe. For more about the Hell's Gate National Park, check our vid on our YouTube channel, A Walk with the Wildlife at Lake Navasha. Here we welcome you to Majimoto Eco Camp. The camp is nestled on a hilltop deep in Maasai lands and overlooking vast savanna plains. It is a wonderful place to simply get relaxed and just take in the amazing natural beauty of Loida Hills. This is a little eco camp facing the Loida Plains. It is so well located and charming. This is all about Majimoto, great African outdoors and getting to know the Maasai culture. The camp is designed to be part of the environment, constructed in a simple, natural and eco-friendly way, offering full board accommodation, included guided walks on surrounding hills and plains.
Here, we are crossing the double cross at Masai Mara Game Reserve with an en route game drive heading to Mara Eden Camp. A game drive is an adventure that entails viewing wildlife in the comfort of a 4x4 land cruiser. Our land cruisers accommodates 4 to 6 people, a sure way to give you that classical safari feeling. Safari game drives are one of the most popular ways to see wildlife in the Masai Mara. Here, we find a mother cheetah and her three cubs. Cheetahs hunt at dusk or dawn. They hunt by sight. Once they spot prey, they will sneak up as close as they can and then use their superior speed to catch the prey. Cheetahs will usually eat their meal as fast as possible before a lion or a pack of hyenas can take it away. This family we call them the Musiara family cheetahs. They hunted and killed a baby zebra. Cheetahs while hunting, they can bark, chirp, and make several distinct noises that resemble that of birds. Similar to most territorial animals, urination is the primary means of marking territory. When showing aggression, they will lower their head below shoulder level. When fighting each other, cheetah usually don't use their teeth. They are perfectly adapted for hunting in the grasslands and arid regions of the Maasai Mara. Being so quick, they are able to capture prey that no other animals are able to catch. Cheetahs are sprinters, not long-distance runners. The Masai Mara Game Reserve is just a paradise of game watchers, the fact that Explorer Kenya Safaris has experienced guides, they will make the game viewing extra special. You can stay at a lion sighting for as long as you want, observing their behavior and watching as they prepare for a hunt. Lion cubs are born after a gestation period of about 110 days and are blind and extremely vulnerable for the first week of their lives. Their mother will move her den and cubs regularly to confuse rival predators and to keep them as safe as possible while she is away hunting. No one really knows if she regurgitates food for them like wild dogs do, but researchers do know that they suckle milk until they are weaned between 6 and 8 weeks. Lionesses carry their litters by the scruffs of their necks until they learn to walk, clumsily at first, at about three weeks. This is Leopard's Cab, driver guide call, Lulu's baby. It is always found at Ulkejurangai Ridge, playing with its mother, at Masai Mara. Leopards are good swimmers, excellent tree climbers, they often drop on their unsuspecting prey, from above, hunt the widest list of prey, including antelopes, baboons, impalas, pigs by stealthy often regarded as a shy, they are nocturnal animals. Sightings of leopard in the Maasai Mara can occur, even in the middle of the day, and last for several minutes. Leopards prefer wooded, savannas and rocky outcrops, and in the Maasai Mara, they are most likely to be encountered, resting in a tree. Here, we get to Tano Bora cheetahs. I think this is one of the reasons that the best five, or Tano Bora, a coalition of five male cheetahs, have captured the hearts and lenses of so many aficionados who have gone on game drive in the Mara and turned this perception on its head. As the largest known male cheetah coalition in the Mara, the Tano Bora, which means the magnificent five in Swahili, has challenged many assumptions about typical cheetah behavior. Typically, once reaching adulthood, male cheetah will become solitary or perhaps join another to form a pair. It is very rare to see a group this large bonding together. The Tano Bora brothers made a kill, but I was unable to shoot the vids, but rather I took pictures. This was just amazing. Being around for six years is old now, there is no doubt that the Tano Bora will continue to surprise us. With Explorer Kenya, we always arrange for picnic lunch. 
This is usually arranged during a full day game, outing in the reserve, so that one does not have to go back to the lodger camp for lunch. The meal itself is in the form of packed lunch boxes, which are provided by your camp or lodge by prior arrangement the night before to allow them adequate time to prepare the meal boxes. Though the meal itself is typically simple though satisfying, the often scenic setting in the wild makes this a truly memorable meal. Most properties in Masai Mara provide this meal at no extra cost in lieu of lunch in the house. The hippo is semi-aquatic, inhabiting rivers, lakes and mangrove swamps, where territorial bulls preside over a stretch of river in groups of 5 to 30, females and young. During the day, they remain cool by staying in the water or mud. They emerge at dusk to graze on grass. The hippopotamus is one of the most aggressive creatures in the world and is often regarded as one of the most dangerous animals in Africa. Every year, from around July through to October, around 2 million animals migrate from Tanzania to Kenya. This are the zebras and the wildebeests. During this long journey, they are forced to cross the Mara River. Some of the crossing points are infested by crocodiles, which carries a huge risk of loss of life in the water. The crossing of rivers can be quite tragic, as the animals can also die from suffocation by their own herd during the frantic and chaotic effort to climb the steep banks of the rivers. In addition, crocodiles are not the only dangerous animal that lurks in the river, waiting to prey on these migrating animals, like the zebra we are looking at. Wow, this was quite a scenic scene.
here. I'm a kidogo bundle. Guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more upcoming videos. And for those that haven't subscribed to our channel, please feel free to subscribe. And don't forget to press on the bell icon to get notified once we upload new videos. Kohari, see you on the next video. Asante.